I get up every single morning and look at the world differently because of what science has taught me. I guess I'm hooked on the exploration and that's what makes science, like my climbing, so addictive. If I could teach the world one thing about science, you know, it's got to be the scientific method. You think of a problem that doesn't have an answer, you take your best get at it, and then design an experiment to test whether you're right. Waiting for the results is similar to the anticipation you feel, you know, when you're approaching the summit of a mountain, wondering if the view on the other side is, is how you'd imagined, you know, it's on the way to the top. And it's this rigorous method, the scientific method, that allows scientists to not only pose questions and resolve them in a way that philosophers and historians can't, but it's a way to actually get away from the common sense notions of the world and to actually try to understand it properly. It's the only method that I believe that really gets us somewhere or even close to understanding the world around us. I work as a, as a neuroscientist and nowadays we can highlight parts of the brain that are associated with feelings such as anger, hatred, love, all the emotions. But what I do wonder is whether the scientific method can really explain what love or hatred actually is. Even if it can tell us which part of the brains are associated with those emotions, can science really tell us what consciousness is?